Hi, this is Holly McLean here from uh, Nature to Textile on Instagram, and I also have a blog called Through My Window. Um, I've never really tried to video myself before, and I'm really just using the basics right now. I know I could use better lighting and uh, maybe a tripod someday, but I just thought I'd show you um, what I'm sort of starting on this morning. It feels really good because I haven't created anything in a long time. I've been doing kind of basic um, quilting, you can see back here, uh, since COVID started because I just, I haven't been feeling well. I've gone through maybe four or five months, six months of pain that turned out to be kidney stones. Um, I'm having trouble getting around and it turns out I also need to have a second hip replacement. So I uh, finally got the kidney stones looked after. I'm feeling better that way and um, gradually getting a little bit of my creative spirit back so last night I couldn't sleep I was in pain I got up I came in I don't know why but these cows were on my mind I had started a cow piece a number of years ago and um, I didn't resolve the issues that I didn't like with it so I kind of gave up on it well I pulled it out of the drawer at about 1 30 last night started looking at it and decided I figured out what was wrong with it I think and decided to try something different so today I've been pulling out fabrics that are kind of, that's the fun fun part, kind of cow colors, black, whites, grays. And um, this picture of the cows and this pattern I made this morning. And you can't see it very well. I'll hold it up in a minute. Uh, I've traced it onto a white fabric, a shirting fabric. And um, so I think what I decided was I'm going to try it on the shirting fabric and do the applique pieces and some of the stitching, the free motion stitching, and then cut it out and apply it to the background piece. And this is about eight by 11, so the piece will be a little bit bigger than that. Um, it's really the first time, I haven't even used my free motion sewing machine in I think five or six months. So what I am doing in this process is I made a pattern, um, I'm ironing, I'm, I'm uh, tracing pieces from the pattern onto freezer paper. I'm also ironing um, a heat and bond light onto the back of the fabric. You can see that it's got a that yellow grid on it and I like it because it it once you've ironed it on you can actually peel it off which of course I can't do because I don't have good fingernails. You can peel it off like this and it's repositionable and with the freezer paper I can put the freezer paper right side up onto the top of it and then it'll be in the right orientation. So I've actually done um, just the first two pieces here. And so there's the pattern, there's kind of what I've based it on. And this part here was the first part that I did with the freezer paper, the gray. It's not in the perfect placement right now, but, and then the second part was this black piece here uh, that comes down here. So I'm gradually going to build it and then I'll do some stitching on it and the plan is to cut it out. Um, I have chosen some, some uh, background fabrics that I think will work very well. These ones, you see they're quite close to the colors in the picture. And we'll see where we go with it. Um, I'd really kind of like to do it in more whimsical colors as I've seen some people on the internet do. Um, but they're usually used with a lot of florals and bright colors and I don't really, I have lots of bright colors and lots of batiks, but nothing really floral. So I thought, well, I'm going to try this in the traditional colors and put it on a background and see what I think. And if I like it, maybe I'll do it again in, in uh, different colors or do it bigger. So we'll see. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.